Hello, I'm Venkatesh and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own Arduino Eno. This project is for those who want to enclose an Arduino Eno in a project box and don't want to use the actual one. For this tutorial, you will need an Atmega 328IC, a breadboard, Arduino Uno, which is optional, and a 5 volt power supply. The list of materials will be in the description. Let's start with building the 5 volt regulated power supply. If you are using a breadboard power supply or any other power supply, you can skip ahead. For this, we are going to use L7805 voltage regulator. The L7805 requires two 10 microfarad decoupling capacitors. In the L7805, we have the left pin as the input, the middle one as the ground and the right pin as the output. The rightmost pin or the output pin from the regulator goes to the Arduino. The leftmost pin is where you feed supply to your product. The next step is to complete all the connections. For that, you need to follow the circuit diagram. The further details will be provided in the instructable page. After you have connected all the components, it is now time to upload your first code into the Arduino. I have used an Arduino with a pre-installed bootloader. If you have one without a bootloader, then the details will be provided in the description. To upload the code, you need to download the Arduino IDE which is available at arduino.cc. You will need a USB to serial interface module. I am using a cheap one that I found on eBay. You can also use an Arduino Uno board to program it. Make sure you select the right port and board in the Arduino IDE. For the test code, you can use the Arduino Blink program which is available in the file and examples in the Arduino IDE. After uploading the code, you should now see the connected LED blink. Now you can experiment with the code and try out different intervals with the LED blink. And there you have it. The complete details of the project will be found in the link below. If you like the video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more such DIY videos.